everybody, what's going on? Nathan343 here, and we are back, yes, back, back, with an all new product from Sheds. Well, pretty much new. So it's right down here. You're going to see it right after these messages. So on top, we have some real good aluminum bracket. Have another aluminum bracket. Okay, you can see those. Yeah. Then we have this thing, and then we've got a bunch of cables here. We've got some nuts for the, the deals, and then we have the light itself with a bunch of cables coming off of it. So pull this out of the bag, and there it is. The waterproof light from Shed. Now as you see, it has these leads coming out of it here. Let me get some brighter light in here so y'all can see that. It's got these leads, okay, and then it's got this is a, it looks like a DMX cable, okay, and then we get this, which is a, basically a power plug that makes it waterproof, so I've got to figure out, okay, that one just doesn't go in there, this one's so got little cool. things in there, it's got a, gr or a rubber seal. No, you can't see that right here, but this here, pull this apart. See how that, that's the power supply. So it's got a little groove right there. That'll focus, see the little groove right there? And that one has one in there. So you line those two little grooves up, push it in, and then you take this. Now I'll probably leave this power cord on here. All right. And that holds the connection together, also makes it waterproof. All right, we're gonna get you a little lower shot here. So then, you have the power cord. Now you can run this to an extension cord and all that good stuff. So we have power in, we also have a power out. So you can elect electronically daisy chain these things, I do believe, you have a bunch of them. And then we have a DMX in right here, and then a DMX out. So this probably would come from a controller, which comes with a nature. very nice, well, user DMX manual. Has sound active, sound controls, uh, color pulse, color gradual change, color jump, color choice, flash strobe, violet dimmer, amber dimmer, white dimmer. Uh, we also have 10 DMX channels. So this is a 10 and 6 channel DMX. That says that right down here at the bottom. And we have red, green, blue, all those dimmers, 0 to 255 as most DMXs are. Waterproof, it is IP65 rated. We'll read them in a week, boys. So we are going to be testing this with a basically a torrential downpour. Um, we're going to put this up on a T-bar and we are going to uh, put both of them together. We're going to plug them both in and we are going to blast these with some water to see basically how good of a job it did. Now I can see the sealant around this. I can see the, the gasket in there. There's sealant around the outside, which you can, you can see. It looks like they've uh, kind of got a little crazy with the sealant. You can kind of see there how the sealant has oozed out of where they've where they have uh, done it but uh, other than that it looks like a really good cement uh, so you probably do not want to take this part of course the buttons are in a uh, waterproof thing there's the back of it get all the plugs in it now the other one that which and I like this it's not a sticker 
it said sheds right there. Of course, it's backwards to you probably, but it's engraved into the metal. That is not a sticker. So that all right, all right, all right, I hear you. Put the brackets on. Make, let's see what it looks like in brackets. All right, so we have. Very, very cool light. Got all the big hardware. Of course, this is the, of course, that is upside down. My bad. We're going to go ahead and open up the other one, and I'll show you how to connect two of these. Got the other unit things. out here. Again, I want to thank Ava. Ava is the new rep uh, that I've been going through uh, for sending these over. So this is the next unit uh, we're going to do. Now, this, these are 7 by 18, so they're 7 18-watt units here. So each one of these are 18 watts. And uh, trust me, I've had some seven by 18. So what we wanna do is we wanna find the power each out light. So this is the power out. So then we want the power in. Now you could, if you didn't want to use this, you could plug this, they each come with a power cable, US plug, probably about a three and a half footer. You could just plug it in that way. Or you can take these, how I'm gonna do it. It's got the little gasket in there. We're gonna take them. Line up the holes, Shh, maybe. Cool. Shove them together and put the little wing net on there. Tighten it down. Connection will not come apart. And now you have power transferring from here to this light without having to plug this light in. So you have basically power in, power out, heavy duty cable that won't come apart. Same thing with here, the other light, which would be cool if they make covers for these just in case you say you don't use them. All that good stuff. Now you got your DMX. Let's work with that next. Same position, we want the DMX out. This now makes this the master. So we're gonna go DMX right here. And we're gonna push those together and twist the knob. All right, so now you have a good DMX and a power connection, okay? Show those to you there. So this one, big one here is your power, and then this here's your DMX signal. So, of course then, you could use that for master slave, or if you wanted to, you could go into a, probably a controller. That's probably what this is for. Yes, that's exactly what this is for. So this here, you hook to this, this here, this one extra cable that comes with it, hook it to this, Tighten it up. And then this actually has the DMX deal so you can run into it. So it's a little, so you can plug it into a controller. I guess A is probably your, yes, A001 is your 10 channel and D001 is your six channel mode. All right, wow, those are right. Probably blinding out the camera right now. <laughs> that's red, green, that's all the colors put together, basically. This also has UV, uh, purple, whatever that is, that's a flash. So, ooh, yeah, those are definitely big strobies. Uh, I'll put that back there after I just blinded the shit out of you. <laughs> so we've got red, and they're each all solid colors, so that's cool. Um, Oh, that's cool, but we need to slow it down. Way, whoops. Way, way down. Yes, it has, I'm gonna speed it up here a little bit. So it has color changing modes. This one to stand up just a little bit more. I know I'm sitting down here on the floor because I don't have a chair behind me, but that's cool. Can change it. Colors, very nice, very nice. Okay, it's probably a right. sound. So we have sound one, sound two. Probably oh, has a sensitivity on here. <laughs> um, sound three. Hey! That's weird. Sound four. Sound five is white. It's just kind of a strobe. Sound seven, sound eight, it's blue. There it goes. So 
It has to have a real good beat to get this thing to change colors with sound active, okay? It's not really hitting these things. So yeah, it has to have a real good beat. But that also, and then it shuts off. So. Clapping's not working. You really got to beat on these guys to get it to change color. Okay, and then we're back to eight address number one. That's cool. So I'm gonna go ahead, ahead, take these things, put them on a T bar, show you what they look like outdoors. Shoot these things with water uh, with my big old trash pump. We're gonna put a lot of water on these. Not like a heavy, heavy a lot, but we're gonna act as if it's a huge torrential downpour. And we're gonna put these things to the test. All right, guys, Stay we tuned. are here. We got these two lights from Sheds that are apparently waterproof. We're gonna put that to the test. We have a two inch, basically fireman hose hooked up to a two inch trash pump hooked up to a 500 gallon water tank. And we are going to kind of basically make it rain on these lights to imitate a rainstorm. I'm gonna make it a heavy rainstorm and we're gonna see what this does. Now all these connections here, would be cool if they'd make plugs to cover these connections. Um, so the water doesn't get in there when you're not using them. Uh, it would be cool if they'd make some sort of little plug that you could plug in there and screw on there to keep water from getting in. But we got something. We got these DMX together and power chain together. So we're gonna go ahead, fire up the pump, and hose is on. Stand up over here a little to the side. Rocket wing. <laughs> They're still working. I guess that means they're waterproof. And these things are soaked. I'll go ahead and bring this down just so you can exactly. These guys are de wrenched. I mean, there's water running off of them. So, yeah. They're they waterproof. Still working. Um, so, yeah. Make sure you go check out the link. Again, like, comment, subscribe for more awesome lighting. Um, I, you know, I appreciate all the, the comments and all the likes and all the, uh, hey, you're doing a good job. Uh, great video. Appreciate it, man. It means a lot to me. So anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I know I said that earlier, but check them out. Sheds, waterproof light. They're little, but they're powerful. Oh,